What's up, everybody? It's Kobe from Amor IT Solutions. Today, I just wanted to uh, talk about a customer interaction that I had um, a few weeks back. Um, this is a client that we uh, have been taking care of for about a year, a little over a year, I think. Uh, basically, um, it is a doctor's office. They have approximately I think eight to nine computers plus a uh, a server and basically what happened was is one of the computers uh, was acting up so they gave me a call and said that they're having various issues with the computer it running slow and certain applications were were not working at all at times um, so I scheduled an appointment to go over there, uh, did a diagnostic on the computer and found that their hard drive was failing. Uh, for some of you that don't know what hard drives are, hard drives are basically what uh, your computer, everything that's on your computer is stored onto a hard drive. So uh, your operating system, like your Windows 10 operating system, any pictures, music, um, Word documents, Excel documents, stuff like that. Um, so basically what I needed to do is, uh, I needed to replace the hard drive. Now, this is, I know I've made videos in the past, uh, about the importance of data backups. This is me kind of reiterating that, um, because they had me put in a proper backup system, their downtime for this computer was significantly less, um, than if. They had not done that um, so I'll give you kind of the two scenarios in I guess scenario a where you have no backups of your computers basically meaning that your computer either separated files or folders or a whole computer image backup which the difference would be if you wanted to save like specific folders so like say you had like folders of all your pictures of um, you know, for the past like 10, 15 years, okay, you wanted to individually back those up compared to doing a full image backup of your, of your computer, which is going to back up the entire computer, the, the operating system, again, like Windows 10, Windows 11, all of your files and folders, pictures, music, any data files, everything basically is backed up. So in scenario A, you've got uh, someone that has no backup. You know, their hard drive goes bad. Like in this situation with this customer, basically what would have happened, I would have had to have gone there, done the diagnostic, found out that the hard drive was bad, replaced the old hard drive with the new hard drive. And what you have to do is, I guess it, it depends on how bad the drive is. If the drive isn't too bad, you can do what's called cloning. You take the old hard drive that's failing, you take the new hard drive and you do an exact image or clone it to the new drive. So it's this, the new drive is exactly how the old drive was without all the, um, the data corruption or failing issues with the, with the old drive. Now in some scenarios, the failing drive is too bad that you can't clone it to the new drive. Um, in that situation, a lot of times what you have to do is it's pretty much starting over. So you would have to reinstall your operating system, whether that's Windows 7, Windows, which it shouldn't be Windows 7 because Windows 7 is not uh, uh, supported anymore by, by Microsoft. So if you're running Windows 7, you shouldn't be running Windows 7. So Windows 10 or Windows 11, uh, basically you would have to reinstall it just like you would if it was a brand new computer. And basically, if you didn't have any of your information backed up, your pictures, your music, whatever, that stuff could be gone, gone forever. So again, back to the scenario of the pictures that you had for like 10 or 15 years, all of those pictures could be gone. Um, the only way of possibly recovering them would be sending that hard drive to like a data recovery place and that can cost hundreds or thousands of dollars to recover that data so 
Um, obviously, example A is not like the most ideal thing that you want to have. Um, backing up your data, like I've said before, is very crucial to do. I don't care if it's like your personal laptop, computer, or desktop, or tablet, or if it's a business computer. Obviously, in a business setting, it's probably more important to you being that if it's your business, you're obviously making money off of that business, um, and you can't really be down as long as far as like your computers or your network computers being down. Uh, obviously, with a business computer, it's going to be much more important that you are up as much as possible. Um, scenario B would be is if you had a proper backup in place. Um, so same scenario, hard drive's bad, you get a new hard drive, you basically, like in this scenario with this customer, I put the new hard drive in the computer and then was able to boot into an environment where their server held all the backups for the, their computer. So I could just go and choose the specific day and time of the backup, last backup that they did. Um, whether that's like that day or some of these backups would go back days, weeks, or even months. So with this scenario, I choose, chose to back up, um, I think a week before they were having problems and I re-imaged it, basically put all the data from the server, from another computer, moved all the data back onto the computer with a new hard drive and took about... 20 to 25 minutes and it reboots the computer and the computer is back to the way it was before the customer had any issues with the hard drive. So scenario A, you're going to probably have lost data. You're not going to be able to get everything back to the way it was. Uh, and it's going to take you hours and hours and hours to try and get that data back if you can salvage some of the data oftentimes what customers will say is you know they'll get their operating system back on they'll start putting data on and then they'll use the computer for a day or two and they'll be like oh i forgot about this application or this software package that i usually use and then they have to go and try and download that application get the drivers for it uh whether it's a printer uh you know a camera whatever scanner so with the example of where you have the backup where you could re-image it, you don't have to do all that. You don't have to install all these programs. You don't have to think about, oh, well, what program do I use to do my video editing? Um, everything is going to be back to the way it was before you had the issue. So a lot more, um, a lot more effective, whether, like I said, it's a personal computer or business, a lot less downtime. Um, so I, I guess the, the, the point of it all is I know it could be a hassle to back up your information, but it's imperative that you do it if you have anything important on your computers. Um, it, it's not a matter of if the computer is going to break. It's a matter of when. It's a mechanical device. It's, it's no different than your car than your microwave, your TV, eventually something is going to go wrong with these devices and they're going to break. So when you've got a very important information on your computer, you want to make sure that you're backing this stuff up as much as possible before there's a problem. So um, I guess that's my, my, my two cents worth of... <laughs> what you should do with your with your computers and and avoiding the headache of calling an IT person like myself after the fact and saying hey uh my computer uh isn't working and then finding out that um you know you've lost all this data or you've had to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to try and recover all of your information and your computer's down for hours or days at a time yeah so if you have 
like any questions or want more information, this is something that we do at my company at Amore IT Solutions. Um, you know, if you want information, if you'd like for us to come out there and look at your network or look at your computers or give you some type of quote, uh, you can message me on uh, social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, all of those platforms, it's Amore IT Solutions, so you can look me up. Um, we also obviously have a website, amoreitsolutions.com. You can go on there and you can either set up an appointment or uh, there is a form where you can fill out all of your information and send it to us and then we'll give you a call back. But again, uh, thanks for listening and uh, we'll see you next time.